Hey guys, Rick here from the GPP. Hi. Uh, I'll wait till I get started here. As soon as I see people pop in. Fuck. I got wet. My cats are here with me, but they're not near me. I've been to Wally World. I know Lazy's gonna, Lazy and Brian's gonna pick on me. I was mainly over there to get razor blades for my razor. My picks up mouse up. And I know what they're gonna say. Take it back to the store. That's what they're gonna say. But I picked up the Bauer Ultimate Blogging or Bloggers Vloggers uh, Kit. All right. It'll it'll come with the light, the uh, diffusers, microphone. Tripod with the removable uh, shutter button, the bracket and the tripod. I mean tripod. Damn it! Here I go screwing up. The uh, phone and GoPro mount. All right. Now the light and the fill. Uh, what I say? They were diffusers. You already seen, but I can't help. Can't help it, they come with pretty much all these sets. Uh, it has two coach shoe mounts on the bracket. It's an ergonomic design, 360 ball head, which I like ball heads better than regular, you know, type of heads. Prevents camera shake. Mark and the microphone captures dynamic sound quality for your recording needs. And on the same side, it has the same pictures plus the light. So that's the one side I was reading. Now, on the back, it shows all the specs and stuff, okay? From the bottom of the feet all the way to the top of the light, there is 17 inches. And uh, bottom of the feet to the top of the tripod, it's only. Eight eight and a half excuse me for that noise that was the cat jumped down from the support beam the bracket again is equipped with two coach shoe mounts for led and microphone hd microphone provides better quality sound with a windscreen or wind muff included again the 50 led light which I did a review on it on my last uh, video on a different tripod, so I'm not gonna go over the crap on that. And a full action camera mount, designed to fit most phones, works with action cams. And it's a two function design where you could close the legs and hold it as a stabilization. A hand grip stabilizer. All right. Uh, what's in the box? The film light with the charging cable, diffusers in three colors, microphone with battery, tripod with remote bracket, phone, an action cam mount, and instruction manuals. And the uh, camera and and the phone mount is inside of the legs for convenient storage okay and you could follow follow them on any of these websites there as you see you could pause the video so you could get a good look at the back of the box I'll do it for the front too all right so that's it so let me just shooting off let me open this box and see what we got in this thing. Oh, before I get to that, I'll give you the price. The price was, ex was exact what it said on the tag. $39.88, okay? So there's your instruction booklet, which who the fuck needs that? And this is what you get inside, okay? You got your diffusers, charging cables down underneath, your light, 
You end up with a plastic cold shoe. This is a CR2 lithium battery. It goes for for your microphone, which a microphone is good for your camera and uh, phone, which I'll get to in a minute. This is your bracket with the two cold shoes and your tripod. So that's all you get in this thing. It's quite a bit for the price. Now again, the light. A bright little sucker again. Okay. Just hold push it. Yeah, just hold in the button, it'll turn on through three modes. I think these are uh already charged full when you get them. Your diffusers, if you guys don't know how to put these on, I had to blow them off a little bit. There's two clips on the bottom with the corresponding grooves on the bottom of the light. Okay, you just sit them in there and you just snap it in place and there you go. All right, same way with taking off, you just push on it and it'll just pop right off. Now, like on my other light, I'm going to switch this out with a metal tri uh, metal cold shoe because it's better than the plastic one. If you tighten the plastic one up too much, you got a chance to bust in your nut or breaking the threaded piece up inside your screw, which you don't want that to happen. You would have to drill it out and hope like hell you don't screw your threads up. Charging cable, micro USB charging cable for your light. Of course, the crappy plastic cold shoe. CR2 battery, which I don't know how easy these are to find. Okay, they're camera batteries, that's all they are. Your bracket, again, the two cold shoe mounts. There's your microphone. This switch right here, it's on phone right now, but you slide it over, you could have it on camera, all right? I'm not sure which way the light comes on if it's the phone, it'll come on, or if it's the camera, it'll come on. I can't remember, but that's how you switch it from one device to the other. And finally, but not least, the tripod. Again, it is plastic, but I don't have a problem with plastic. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels pretty reasonably uh, sturdy. Again, plastic is cheaper than metal. But under here, you'll find your, shit, not enough light. There you go. You'll find your uh, GoPro mount screw, okay? Now on this side is your phone and GoPro mount holder, all right? Again, your remote control. It's not built in, it's removable. It's right here in your handle, and it's Bluetooth compatible, so you can Bluetooth it to your phone. To remove it, you just put your thumb in the back of the leg there and just push on it, it'll just pop right out. All right, don't forget to take this piece of plastic right there out. So you could actually run the darn thing, that's to keep the battery fresh. Not going dead on you. And it takes the uh, button batteries. I'm not sure what size, but that's what it takes. Just snap it right back in there. There's your GoPro screw. All right. Now to get your phone mount out of your leg. It's pretty simple. You just bring up one of your legs or your holders there, 
grab it with one hand and you just pull out. Okay, it just snaps in. GoPro mount up here, foam mount down here. I don't know how wide or big or big of a foam it could fit in here, but as far as I can tell, it could stretch pretty good. Okay, it has good enough spring in there to stretch over a pretty good sized foam. And you don't need it, just snap it right in its home again. Put your GoPro mount in first. Hope you guys can see that. And just snap it right in and it's back at its home. Now the uh, this little collar here, you turn it one way, you could get your legs to come out a little bit further, as you could tell. Okay. Swing it back, you know, once further and once further apart. Or you could lock them if you want to. It doesn't matter if you do it or not because they pretty well stay together holding it. This right here is to loosen your ball head so you can angle it any way you want. It's a 360 degree. That is metal. You can put it in your vlogging mode if you want to use it as a selfie stick. But let me see if I can put this all together see what, so you guys can see what it looks like, okay? Uh, I'm not going to worry about the phone, but... I can't screw straight. How you like that? There you go. Put that on. Give me my. It's loose till you get stuff set on there. Almost forgot. Hey Dale. I almost forgot about the light. It's a hot shoe here. This is why I like metal better than plastic. It's not so fiddly. But trying not to do it so I break my nuts off and shit. And you got your microphone. So this is pretty much what it's going to look like minus the phone, okay? Just stick your phone in there. You got your light up there so you can uh, shine yourself up a little bit. Don't forget to put your battery inside your microphone. That's what that is. 
plug your three and a half millimeter jack into your phone or camera, whatever you're using, and just go right at it. So, as far as I could tell, I, I would give this a rating about, probably about nine stars at least, maybe eight. Uh, I would like to see more metal on some things, but what, what do you expect, okay? I wish this was metal, but it's plastic. Um, if you're using this plastic uh, code shoe, make sure you don't screw it too tight, or you break again, you'll break your nuts or your threads up in your hole, and that would be a bad thing to happen. Um, I would recommend getting some metal ones like this. All right, these are from newer. They will fit on your light. So you don't have to worry about breaking your nuts or whatever, so. Okay. Oh no, I like it. Uh, if I could figure out how to tighten this part up, that'd be great. Uh, doesn't seem like it. Man, I'm turning wrong. I don't know. But, anyways, I would again highly recommend it. And I will leave this description of it and the specs of it in the description box down below uh, if you're interested it's again $39.88 at Walmart it'll be good for beginner bloggers or if somebody don't have enough money to buy tripods like I got the bigger style ones these will work to set on your desk or whatever how did I Whatever. I turned my light on my shutter button. But anyways, set it on your desk or your table and you could vlog like that as well or you know. So that's all I have to say about this. I do got another camcorder on the way with a night vision in it. It's a more professional type of camcorder. I it was close to $300 I had to pay for it, but that's all right. Uh, it's being shipped by USP or UPS, which I'm glad of that because I don't want that crap stolen. And once it gets here, I'll do a video on that as well. Plus, I need to get some extra batteries for it because it only comes with one battery. So... If you, again, my name is Rick. If you like this video, please give a big thumbs up for me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so, please. Ring that notification bell, select all for future videos and notifications. No trolling, no hate comments, no sexual crap on my channel, especially no cyberbullying. I don't put up with that crap. And if you want me to get the, uh, the other vloggers kit that comes with the uh, rig, I'll get that too, but it comes with the normal these lights and everything else. So, um, till then, I'll catch you on the flip side and keep filming out there if you are a filmer. So, be safe, happy holidays, and I'll talk to you later.